The diagnosis of amyloid generally requires a screening biopsy, a, a histological diagnosis of some description, unless patients meet the non-biopsy criteria for ATTR amyloid, uh, which was published by Professor Julian Gilmore. And generally, the histological diagnosis uh, requires a critical organ biopsy, which um, can be high risk uh, and costly, and especially in the setting of COVID, would potentially warrant more time in hospital than a screening biopsy. And screening biopsy is a low-risk alternative. So we looked at the value of screen biopsies in diagnosing AL and ATTR amyloid for this reason. So we looked at gastrointestinal, bone marrow, and fat aspirates, specifically because all patients uh, suspected of AL amyloid will have a bone marrow, and it would be very easy to perform a fat aspirate at the same time. So we, we had 471 patients, of which 321 had AL amyloid and 150 had ATTR amyloid. And we found that the diagnostic sensitivity um, of fat aspirates was almost three quarters in the AL patients, but just over a quarter in the ATTR patients, so much more sensitive in AL amyloid. Across all screening biopsies, actually, um, AL amyloid was easier to detect. Um, and specifically in ATTR, the wild type form was much harder to detect in screening biopsies than the hereditary form, which had a much higher diagnostic sensitivity. We also looked at um, the amyloid load based on SAP scintigraphy and found a strong association between whole body amyloid burden and the sensitivity of screening biopsies. So specifically in patients with a large amyloid load, um, with AL amyloid, the screening biopsy sensitivity was 80 to 90 percent, whereas if, the, was a, if there was um, no visceral deposits on SAP scintigraphy, then the sensitivity could be as low as 53 percent. Um, finally, we looked at sensitivity by organ involvement, finding that patients with um, cardiac, renal and hepatic amyloid um, all had higher diagnostic sensitivities than those without those visceral deposits. And interestingly, these are the patients who will often require a target organ biopsy. In summary, we essentially found that um, if patients with AL amyloid have a screening biopsy, both um, abdominal fat and bone marrow, then the vast majority, almost 90%, will get a diagnosis on one of these two screening biopsies and then will not actually require a critical organ biopsy. So in summary, we do feel that um, screening biopsy um, has great value, especially in AL amyloidosis, in order to avoid critical organ biopsy um, and should be increasingly considered sort of in, in the workup of these conditions.